Do you want to easily fill a model with ropes or string? Well, you're in luck because Rocket Lasso is having a 40% off sale, and that includes Ricochet. Let's start out with a model like this text object inside a volume builder inside a volume mesher. Grab Ricochet from my extensions dropdown. Let's move the Ricochet inside of our model, link to our model inside of Ricochet. Hide the model, and now we have a line bouncing around inside of it. Let's increase the number of bounces by changing our length from 1,000 to 10,000. Try 100,000. Let's try 1 million units. And you can see there's so many lines bouncing around inside that this looks like a solid orange. Put this back to something reasonable. I want a nice even point distribution on this, so I'm going to feed it into another Rocket Lasso tool, Utility Spines. Search for Rocket Smooth. Drop our ricochet inside, and if I double click, I can see this new subdivision and smoothing. Change my point input to be based on a step of seven, and now drop the entire thing inside of a sweep so we can actually see the geometry. For simulation, I'll select the spline and add a simulation rope tag. I want it to be very bendy, to be very stretchy, to have no friction, and I want to have a radius of three matching the sweep. Let's hide our original geometry and also make it a collision by right-clicking and saying Simulation, Collider, and I don't want to collide with the outside, I want to collide with the inside. For some extra personality, let's create a Simulate, Forces, Turbulence, crank this way up to something like 500, give it a scale of 25, and make it even faster than it currently is. Hitting play, all of these ropes will want to avoid each other, and we get this lovely bit of animation, but you'll see we're getting all of these crazy spikes, and those will always happen on any sweep object that has a sharp curve. But we can have the Rocket Smooth come to the rescue. Hitting Shift C will bring in another copy of the Rocket Smooth, dropping it inside of our sweep, but after the simulation, acting as a post effect on top of it, putting an extra point in between every existing point. I'll reduce my iterations all the way down and just start increasing it until everything looks nice and clean and smooth. Now we can hit play again and look at our end result of this nice flowing bit of rope inside of any model that we want. As a little bonus, if you select Ricochet, you can pull it up outside of the model until this is completely missing the geometry. Moving inside of my Modify tab, I could give this a surface offset and a shell. Now you can see I have this inside and outside, and what that is enabling me to do is wrap around the exterior of the object. So if I hide this Visualize and bring back the visuals of our original model, you can now see we've got our original geometry and we're wrapping up the outside of it. And of course, don't forget to use code RKTHARVEST for 40% off all Rocket Lasso plugins.